Remember to wear the proper clothing while in the lab. Yo, 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 it's time for the bonus rap. Hey, all you students, come listen to me. I got something to say about organic chemistry. I know it sounds crazy, but there's a trick to naming all those compounds. With just a little click. It's not really that hard if you do it right, and suddenly an A isn't far out of sight. All you gotta do is just follow these rules. To be the greatest chemist at your school, first the longest carbon chain must be located. After you find it, please don't get frustrated. If two chains are the same length, better break the tie. Select the one more thing's on it, and you're doing fine. Once you find the longest chain, get the right prefix. It's so simple, you'll be naming carbon chains for kicks. Now the next thing is easy as one, two, three. You just number those carbons based on priority. When a constituent is closer to one side, give that carbon number one, and you're making strides. If there's more than one, and they're equally close, just use the alphabet, and what it says goes. Now let's assume you got functional groups. Don't forget about them or you'll make a big oops. For example, if the compound has an alcohol, the carbon with the OH rules above all. And if the molecule contains any multiple bonds, trade the ain off with an E, an I or beyond. And remember, all the groups must be included. If you forget this, then you're just plain diluted. If there's two multiple bonds, don't worry no more. Just use the alphabet as you did before. Don't worry, these rules don't go on forever. Now's the time to put it all together. And on the next exam, you can't go wrong. As long as you remember the words of this song, you'll ace your exam and be happy down the week. And you'll save Dr. Banner a whole ton of